So again, this model variant is not only used just to create a, a different move pattern, but also you can have additional tolerances, active, deactive, and use that also in the model variant. So where you can attach a process with a different uh, assembly uh, process also, and also with the tolerances options. So now um, we went through the two processes. Now I have an additional process in the model variant, which is using a motion move. As I mentioned before, the upper arm here is free to move up and down. And I have an additional measurement in this uh, model, which is checking the distance uh, between the arm and the base. So as I told you, the arm can go up and down. I need to know the distance and check for the variation of this uh, distance in three different location of the arm. So let me activate. Before, before yeah. you do that, can mm -hmm. you just hit the eight? Yeah. yeah. So this is the original model that doesn't have motion applied. Correct. But now I activated a variant which actually turned on the motion move for me. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. So now if I nominal build with a new process and deviate, you can see this arm is now free to move and it rotates. So it's going through a range of motion plus tolerances. It's hard, it's hard to see because of the motion, yeah. but there's going to be a, a variation on that with the motion. So now, um, as you see, the more the part can uh, deviate and rotate along this direction. I just wanted to place this arm in three different particular locations here. So I'm going to alter the step of the motions from 20 to just three. So it's going to put this arm in three random locations. And from there, I'm going to measure the distance between the arm and the base. So now as I change the motion settings, Again, let me deviate and show you the three random location where the arm is placed now. That's right. So that's the three locations that we're going to measure the distance and check the variations for. So can you um, can you go to deep, open up the measurement and go to deviate control? So I just nominal Do build. nominal build. So if you see nominal build and she clicks on current, there's a current measurement value. Mm -hmm. And if she deviates one step at a time and then hits current, there's a new value. So yep, this is now this is a new nominal due to motion. And then those new nominals all have a range of variation due to tolerances. Yeah. So now to calculate that, uh, I'm, I'm going to use a function inside our add-on workbench, which is called kinematic simulation. So this will put the rod in that three locations, as we, as I showed you before, and take a results for the measurement that we that we wrote for the distance between the arm and the base. So now, when you have a product that goes through motion, you have to uh, deviate your individual parts first, and then that set of parts need to go through the range of motion. So the computer's applying the tolerance to the part, it's building it at a position, collecting that data, moving it to another position, collecting that data, moving it to a third position, and collecting that data. And that's and it, since we said three positions, you saw that simulation go through three times. And that populated this Excel sheet information with the results. And this is the highlighted um, column will show the distance between the arm and base. And if you go through the results, we have a nominal value. And you can see this is the nominal for those three different locations. And we have got a mean 
and we also see there is a difference in the variation when compared to the three dis different location of that arm and the base. So this is a great example of um, you can predict variation as, at a certain stage, but as your product goes through motion, the geometry is changing. The actual attachment points, the angle of that triangle, if you can go back to the model, You know, the triangle that's created by the um, shock and the spine and the arm, that's changing shape as it goes through its range of motion and that's what's locating the arm. So the motion is changing the geometry which is going to change the effect of the variation. This is, this is why when you have assemblies that go through ranges of motion, you wanna maybe analyze it in multiple positions.